Wow. Wow. Jason Tatum. I mean, Shake aside, I'm just fingers crossed Shake's okay. Is Shake all good? Does anyone know? Um. Does anyone know if Shake's okay? But like, for Celtics fans. But, oh lads. For Celtics fans, this card's insane. But like, this is gonna be ins Like, Tatum's gonna be good. And Tatum doesn't look as quite as gray as other cards. He looks slightly less gray. Um, he's gonna be insane though. He's gonna be absolutely insane because he's his release is really really good this year. Like his release is genuinely genuinely good. Like literally tomorrow we are getting Pierce, Tatum, and Jalen Brown. Um, like literally we're getting Pierce, Tatum, and Brown on the day that the Celtics coach, well. The Celtics coach. I'm not. <laughs> I'd rather not have that in a video on that day. Like we're getting Diamond Jalen Brown. My God, you can make you can make an all-time Celtics lineup right now. Go get yourself your free agent Larry Bird. Get yourself your Kevin McHale. And go out there with Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Paul Pierce, and like McHale, and Bird off the bench. You can legitimately go and make your all-time Celtics team. But uh. He bangs off us as hard as he may. Oh my god. I, I actually I rate that. I rate that's I rate that comment so much. I rate that comment so much. And then suddenly the great Afro Pig shows up in chat. The uh, the Afro Pig shows up in chat as soon as the Celtics player comes in. As soon as he comes in, the Afro Pig shows up. How are you, man? But like Tatum is really, really good. Tatum is gonna be really good. And people just don't people that don't realize just how good Tatum is gonna be. Let's take a look at his release. Like this is one of the like 15 best releases in the game. And it's consistent. Every catch is the same, which is huge. So off catches, he's gonna be. Oh, I forgot the Tatum leaner is hilariously bad. The Tatum leaner is, it's laughably bad. But it's easy to green, it's just laughably bad. Um, for people expecting to be 400k, you are correct, he's going to be at least 350k. So for just the average player, it's not like we're going to be getting uh, Jason Tatum. We're not, none of us are going to be using Jason Tatum, because he's going to be 400k, because everyone has a crap load of MT. And... Um, I mean, buying a copy of my of Punch Out is a uh, at an all time low. He's like, if anyone expecting this card to be under three hundred k, you are going to be very mistaken. Like he's nice, he's going to be nice though. It's just that slow leaner that's an issue. His burst isn't great, but the release is super good. His burst is very slow. Doesn't matter which way you're going. So in general, he's going to be nice. Defensively, uh, I think he's alright. From what I've used in his ruby, he's going to read his stats. From what I've used in his ruby, his animations are decent. If you don't, like, if you're not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, his, really, his uh, animations are decent. Uh, he's going to be still easily top, like, three when it comes to power, small forwards in this game. You're not really going to want to run him a power forward. Like, if they let him play the two, this would be the best two guard in the game. He would just be better than Andre Iguodala. And that's still going to be really good. And if we go and get Trey Young as our last, as our last, like, pink diamond, we're going to be getting a ridiculously, ridiculously good card. Like, for people saying can Tatum run your offense, probably not. Probably not because his movement is really weak. And again, for someone saying uh, his leaner is probably better without sprinting, no, it's exact. It's not very good. 
It's just not very good. But that a player with his release at six foot eight, um, who can also play a bit of defense and doesn't really have any like objective flaws, is going to be really really good. He's no bad things as a game as a player. He has he's probably going to get multiple hot zones. So. Am I excited for a card that I'm never going to get? No. That's kind of the issue, is that I'm not excited for him at all, because I'm never going to get him. And for that reason, I just think I'm more excited for whoever 2K decide to give us as our Amethyst. Or whoever the headliner is. There's going to be three versions of that card. Just as long as it's not another point guard, I'm happy. I just don't want another point guard. Like crowds, um, even I would take Ray Allen. I'm not even gonna lie, I would take Ray Allen in a heartbeat. I think I want to give it to all Celtics players. I would take Ray Allen in a heartbeat. It's probably it's probably gonna be Trey Young, and Amethyst Trey Young could cook. Like that card could actually really cook. And if they give it to LeBron James, and Amethyst LeBron James with all these gold badges will be absolutely god tier for budget players. So, yeah. Um, I'm interested to see what other cards they come that come in this collection. Chat, are you guys excited? First of all, do you guys think you're going to get Tatum? Because I have seen Tatum, um, like he's going to be about 400k. Do you guys think you're going to be able to afford Tatum? Are you guys excited at all for Tatum? So people are saying, no, nah, they're not going to get Tatum. He's going to be too much. Do you guys, are you guys excited to have him in the game even if he is going to be too much to get? Got 400k saved up for Trey. I mean, Trey might be the damn best of the Trey phase. Nah, not really. I think that's kind of... The cards are just so rare and they're so expensive that, like... For most people, these, like, top cards aren't really that, um... Attainable anymore. And again, at the same time, I don't think top cards should be attainable all the time. I just think that the budget play the budget players... The lack of budget players kind of just killed a lot of pack hype. So, for a lot of people, the only hype they're going to get is budget players when they can't afford the higher players. But, um... Like, I am... I think Tatum's going to be really good. For those of you guys that can't afford him, I think he's going to be the best small forward in the game. I think he's going to be the best small forward in the game. I don't think he's going to be particularly close. So, I'm somewhat excited, but I'm not like... I don't think it's going to be game-changing or anything. Even though the title of this video is probably going to be Pink Time Jason Tatum will be game-changing. So anyway, now it's green three. Mick. 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 Airball. That's green one. Ah, oh, Mick. You're better than this, Mick. Now we're going to end the video.